a Ukrainian woman was allegedly raped several times in front of her child, just moments after her husband was shot dead in their house by Russian soldiers. Dot. Ukraine's Prosecutor General Irina Venediktova opened the country's first official rape investigation into the case after the drunken soldier is said to have broken into the family's home, killed the husband and then repeatedly raped his wife. Mrs. Venediktova said two soldiers attacked the woman in bravery, in East Kyiv. One has been identified and charges are being sought. She added that. After shooting the husband dead and sexually assaulting his wife, the pair threatened their child with weapons. It is the latest in a string of rape claims levied against Kremlin troops since the invasion began. Ms. Mezintseva said Ukraine will not be silent over the sex attacks and questioned how the woman's child will cope after seeing something so distressing. The MP, who is head of the permanent delegation of Ukraine to the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, said details of sex attacks must be recorded as they happen because justice has to prevail. Ms. Mezintseva told Sky's Sophie Ridge on Sunday program, There is one case which was very widely discussed recently because it's been recorded and proceeded with, by the prosecutor's office, and we're not going into details, but it's quite a scary scene when a civilian was shot dead in his house in a small town next to Kyiv. His wife was, I'm sorry but I have to say it raped several times in front of her underage child. Ms. Mezintseva, who was speaking to Sky from Western Ukraine, said the country could benefit from the experience of other countries, such as the UK, in how to help victims in the aftermath of war. She said, there are many more victims rather than just this one case which has been made public by the Prosecutor General. And of course, we are expecting many more of them, which will be public once victims will be ready to talk about that. She insisted, we will definitely not be silent. She described war as violence, but added that this particular incident is horror, questioning how a child will cope after seeing something so distressing. The MP added, that's why, when we've been talking to Boris Johnson, when we will be talking to your home office, when we've been talking to MPs of UK, we've also raised this issue that this aftermath, which we are dealing with right now, the aftermath of war, has to be taken very cautiously, very seriously. And, we must, take into account the UK experience and experience of other countries, which can help us in dealing with psychologists, and how to help these people to actually live over these cases, to keep going afterwards, to keep living. She added, of course justice has to prevail, that's why these cases are taken very seriously. Ms. Mezintseva said there had also been two incidents reported in the past week where Russian soldiers are accused of shooting at civilians queuing for humanitarian aid. She said, this is just an absolute fact of a war crime against the Ukrainian civilian population. This is definitely not soldiers against soldiers. This is something which is going beyond the normal understanding of war conduct.
Last week, a woman who escaped from the decimated Ukrainian town of Irpin on the outskirts of Kiev accused Russian soldiers of raping women and shooting innocent civilians. Anastasia Taran, a 30-year-old from Enerhodar who was working as a waitress in Irpin prior to the Russian invasion, claimed that conditions in the Russian-occupied town are like hell and alleged the invaders engaged in horrific treatment of locals. Irpin is hell. There are plenty of Russian soldiers out there who just shoot people who enter private homes and, at best, just kick people out of their homes, Anastasia told Ukrainian outlet Euromaidan Press. They rape women and the dead are just being dumped. Ukraine's Foreign Minister Dmytro Kuleba and Opposition MP Lesia Vasilenko have both cited reports of Russian soldiers sexually abusing helpless civilians.